Case number 16 here. Okay, so case 16, you have a woman who has calcaneal heel spurs, um, bone spurs on her heel, on the medial heel. So we're going to, because it's a bone spur, we're going to be using um, acetic acid. Acetic acid. Which is negative. Uh, which is going to be negative, and we're going to throw that on the negative cathode. So we're going to use the negative, uh, the black, and we're going to put that right on there. We're going to have uh, acetic acid on the other side of this, and then we're going to connect the black the, to the black. This is the dispersing pad? The dispersing pad is this white one, and the oh, medication's okay. gone on this blue one. So Beautiful. we're going to put acetic acid there, cathode, because it's negative, will go there, and on the dispersing pad, we'll put the uh, anode. Beautiful. So you set her up, you put this on her uh, medial heel, you put the dispersing pad distal to that, mm -hmm. make sure this is attached properly. You come over here, you're going to turn on, the you're going to make sure this is set to S1, S1. primarily. Then you're going to turn on the device. The device turns on. First thing you're set is your total current for the whole treatment. And you can start off 40 is a good point to start, so you can leave that there, but you could go from 40 to 80. Um, so we set that. We come over here. We go to P. We're not doing S2. We go right to P because we don't need that other channel. So here we can adjust either we can adjust the current. So we're gonna use this black button right here. We go down to current. We use this knob up here. We're gonna start her at about 1.5 because it's a safe current magnitude to uh, start with and that's going to automatically change the treatment time and the dose is zero because it hasn't started yet that's going to count up so once all your parameters are set um, the medications on there everything's attached well you just flip this over to run and that's going to run and it's going to start beautiful